Send me pieces up back together now What's your vision? Hello there and welcome to episode 9 of Blythe Spartans Rags to Riches and we're going to get into this very quickly and recap the games we've played since the Stally Bridge Livecom that we played with you in the last episode. So we went to Lowe's Toft at home, we lost 2-0 and a poor poor result before getting a clean sheet away to Alfredton and a 0-0. And then we beat Telford 3-1 away from home, that was a good win, Wolfie getting the double, Ben Blackman getting one and we've just had a 2-2 draw, Harrogate scoring late on but Jordan Storey and Matt Wolfenden getting goals in that game. As you can see our last 8 games we've only had one win and it's been very poor and very, very difficult to find a win in these games. Three games left in the league, we're about to play Worcester away in the, today's live com. And we've got three games left in total. Solihull, Moors and Matlock away to play next. We're at the business end of the season. It's all kicking off now and it's very, very tight. So here is the current league table. And as you can see, we've slipped out of the playoffs. And 39 games played, 18 wins, 6 draws, but too many losses. In particular, the last two months. 15 in total, 60 goals scored and a mammoth 62 conceded, which is the third worst in the league. We are on 60 points, we're only 2 points off the playoffs, so it's more than capable that we can get that playoff spot, which is what we want. We've been in that playoffs all season, until recently. Of course we're still overachieving, and 5th place AFC filed on 62 points, are only separated by 6 points down to 12th place Stallybridge Celtic, who were going well and have now slipped right down. We're about to play Worcester, 17th, 17th place so hopefully we can get a win today. We have made one pre-contract signing for £2,700, a guy that just scored a double against us for Sally Bridge Celtic, former Newcastle United trainee. He's got 18 goals and 39 appearances so far for Sally Bridge. He's 19 years old, a striker, and someone who has the attributes to do really, really well at this level. Luke Charman, 12th finishing, Flair 14, 11 for leadership off the ball and work rate, 15 teamwork, 12 acceleration, 11 strength and 13 natural fitness. He looks like being used by a human, he could be an absolute boss of a player at this level. He will join the club in the summer. So as you know, last episode I told you we have a, an affiliate club in Peterborough. Well, we requested another one, but the clubs that came up were... Crawley and Colchester, the best ones, but, but we decided to stick with Peterborough. And I know I haven't taken any loan players yet, but there's none been that convincing that they can get in my first team, to be honest. A lot of them have been their youth players, and some of them just can't cut it. But if one does come up that we can get a loan from Peterborough, we will take them and look to exploit that affiliate loan link that we have. So here is today's squad. Now, a few of them are lacking fitness because we have had injuries and some... I've not played much recently and have had to come into the squad. So we go with McHugh, Turner, Roberts, Nurse, Parker, Watson, Story, Richardson, Blackman, Hackney, Wolfenden and Maguire on the bench. Hutchison, Nicholson, Hawkins, Blackburn and Swan. The guys have been briefed and it's time for kickoff. A big match. It's kind of strange not being in the playoffs and being settled. The last two months have really, really killed us. Hooper. Hart, Jackman, Hooper, Jackman, Yeoman, Vincent, and Wor Worcester could have been ahead after 35 seconds there, and a good save but worrying signs after less than one minute into the game. We've got a few key injuries including Stephen Turnbull and Robert Dale who both would be starting and regulars in my squad, both vastly experienced. Human. And that was a great chance from the opposition there. That should have been 1-0. Only seven minutes into the game. Vincent. Schofield. Hooper. Hart on the left-hand side. Hooper, plenty of space. Jackman and puts it over. Three good, good chances here for Worcester. Watson, Maguire, 
Hackney. Good chance. And two good chances. Wolfie hits it straight at the goalkeeper. And golden chance there for our team. As you know in live comms we've not had much luck. And we do in games tend to concede first in almost every game. And especially recently in the last two months it's been an uphill struggle once that's happened. You might have noticed McHugh's come back into the squad. We've been conceding too many goals this season, so I brought out the young Brendan Pearson and put in McHugh, who was number one in the first season, as we come to the end of season two here. Again, I think I'll be disappointed if we don't make the playoffs, at least. But we were media predicted to finish 14th, so we are overachieving as it stands. And I did sign a new contract when I was in the playoffs and it said that they wanted me to win the league and I didn't understand that. 1-0, Worcester, Ashley Yeoman, 17th goal of the season. That's been coming. Schofield with a great ball and Yeoman beats the defenders. Don't know how he's getting a goal from that angle. Very disappointing. And this is the way things are going recently. Everything is going against us. We're just playing so, so poor and honestly, it's been so frustrating this season that I actually cannot wait for it to be over. And there you go, 30 minutes in, 2-0, Yeoman again, and an absolute capitulation from our team. And that is going to be three points gone because we don't come back from matches like this. And that's how poor we've been in recent matches. Very disappointing. 36 minutes gone, 2-0 down. Not too long till half time and our players are playing pretty poorly. And that just sums it up, giving a poor ball away like that. Hooper, Hart, Jackman, Melanson, Vincent, Yeoman and there it goes. 3-0, Yeoman Hattrick, 19th goal of the season and this game is over. A back heel, Vincent takes a shot, parries it out, Yeoman couldn't miss, an open net. 3-0, three points, done and dusted. And the confidence gets worse and worse from my team. And honestly, I see nothing else. But more goals coming from the opposition side. Very poor, not even in the game. Turner. And this is going to push us right down, probably, impossibly too far out of the playoffs. And yeah, it's going to be very, very poor. Honestly, I don't know what to do. We've got players that are not very much mat fitness at 100%. They were starting off very low because they haven't played, but that's due to injuries. And I've tried to sit with the similar team most of the season, only changing up things here and there. Blackman, Wolfenden, Blackman, offside. Why am I not surprised? 63 minutes gone here. And a save from a Roberts Nurse header. Corner from Hackney coming in. Headed away, Richardson, 25 minutes to go. Hopefully this misery can be over soon. I much expected this, as you've seen our luck's not very good in live comms. But we have been absolutely dreadful the last couple of months, barely picking up a victory. Hooper puts it wide. And our players are just exhausted and knackered. McCann, Melanson, Yeoman... Vincent, down the right hand side, Melanson, Yeoman, McCann, Johnson, Melanson, plays it clear, Hart picks it up on the left, Turner now has the ball, Blackman, Story, signed a new contract recently, Richardson's through, Wolfie is over, can he put a first team cross in, he can, he can, and Maguire, pulls one back for his ninth goal of the season, as you can see, not being such... Prolific like last season, but he was out for around two and a half months 
at the start of the season. Good cross, good goal, decent finish, but a little too late, unfortunately for us. I went overload, nothing to lose here, nothing expected from this match now. Into the 85th minute, and not one player has got a 6.9 as it stands in this game. That says its own story. Hooper, 4-1, great cross. James Hooper, third goal of the season in the 90th minute, and that just about kills us off. So we will check the league table after this and just see what damage it's done, and who knows, potentially it could have knocked us almost but out of the playoff hunt. And I'm very disappointed and frustrated, if you haven't heard already. And there it goes. Worcester, four. Blythe Spartans, one. Dreadful. Dreadful viewing for you. Dreadful viewing for me. And we'll see the damage it has done. Puts us down to ninth with two games remaining. And we are four point out of the playoffs so unless we beat Solihull Moors who currently sit in joint top and they are playing for the title and Matlock who are 21st and we will not have a chance and I am bitterly disappointed I will be back again soon guys with two games left to play probably won't be a live come the next match because the season will be all but finished unless we can somehow sneak into the playoffs which I doubt but we will come back with a review of the season. Thanks for checking it out. This is Rags to Riches and I'll be back again very shortly.